Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I'd like to take you through virtual reality creation using the AEC collection. I'm calling it VR Level 2 and this is part one of that series. It's for land development projects to VR. Now in the last series that I had was a drone to VR and I had part one through four, two, three, and four through four. So there was a four part series basically. In this particular series, I will have a playlist that all of the videos will be uploaded to, but I'm not going to limit it to a particular amount of parts, so I'm going to keep and continue to add to this. So this is part one, so um, this is where we will start this particular series. Let's get started. All right, let's get started here in Civil 3D. Back in March of 2017, I did a webcast on how to use the shared reference point command and to carry coordinate systems across from Civil 3D to Revit into Navisworks maybe and even into Infraworks and marry up the building to your Civil 3D model. So I took that data set and that's what I'm using for my land development data set. So as you can see here I've got parking, I've got my building envelope, my Revit building would stick right on there. But I tell you all that because I've gone ahead I'm going to post uh, the shared reference point video and make access to that that data set for you if you if you want it um, You'll probably just want to email me and you can have um, all of that data if you'd like But I wanted to start here in civil 3d because this is where we have started to build our design We've got a surface that's generated here that is an all-in-one surface meaning I've merged the proposed grades with the existing grades so that we have an overall surface that we can use. Now we're not going to stay long here in Civil 3D because what I'm concerned with today and I'll, I say we're not going to stay long here in Civil 3D because you can go back and watch that shared reference point uh, video and that will bring you up to speed as to everything I've got here. So one thing I did want to add though is I wanted to add this pipe network because in VR experiences I want to be able to see through the pavement all right and see through the grass areas and things of that nature and and walk around and see the utilities underneath the ground all right so that's one of the things that we're going to show that's in addition to in this particular data set um, we're also going to animate a car and I'll talk about that and eventually we're going to animate some people and things of that nature but we want to start here with the utilities that I've got in Civil 3D because we want to bring those across into InfraWorks that we're using as our aggregator of data. All right, so if I look here, I these are all, this is just a pipe network, all right? This is Civil 3D pipes and structures. So what I want to do to start off is I want to flip to like a perspective view, maybe Southwest Isometric, because if I run the command to export these pipes and things of that nature out as solids, it's going to tell me that I need to be in a view to get better access to my data. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip into that view and I'll go ahead and turn off my surface here so that you can see what I'm, I'm trying to export out a little bit easier. All right, so now I can see my pipes. So I'm just going to type at the command line convert to 3D solids. All right, I can just type convert and then it will go ahead and populate the rest of that word out. I'll select my AEC objects to convert. So I'll just pick those and you can see in this view and once I turn my surface off it makes it real easy to do that. I'll go ahead and hit enter. It asks me if I want to erase those objects and no I absolutely do not. I, I want my pipe network to stay whole here inside of my model. All right I hit no and it created the solids. I'll go back to my plan view here and I will basically export out the solids. So if I select one of my structures here, you can see that it goes to a layer and it doesn't pull the structure because it's underneath. If I change my display order, then the structure would come up, but I don't want it to. I just want to select one of the structures and one of the pipes, right click and hit select similar. All right. And we're just going to go up to the application button in the corner and we'll select export to an FBX. All right. We're going to be doing this a lot in this series and in future series. So I'm going to start my folder system here. So if I go out to my save location where I'm saving things and I've got my level two videos that I'm generating, I would select a new folder and I would call it uh, civil 3D FBX out. 
all right you can name this whatever you want but I highly recommend you building a folder system of some sort in the manner that I'm gonna walk through in this series I'll go ahead and get into that folder and I'll call this pipes and structures all right just name it what it is I hit save and I'll go ahead and select it wants to know what entities that I want to export so I've got these selected already so I'll go ahead and hit my my select objects button and it should come up here in my command line and tell me that I've got 11 selected all right it found 11 the rest of this I can leave alone and just hit OK and it exports these out all right so now I'm going to jump into InfraWorks real quick and you can see the model how it was created basically the way that I defined the asphalt areas and the grass areas and the pond and things of that nature is inside of InfraWorks here if you look at my data sources I brought those in as coverages okay so these coverage areas concrete grass area this was just literally a polyline or a closed polyline that I exported out as um, an SDF file or a shape file and brought them in and when they come into InfraWorks they come in and I, I call them coverages okay so that I can add the material that I want to represent that particular area that's all that was done okay so we'll be using those quite a bit later on whenever we go to make this this surface here for the asphalt we go to make it transparent um, those surfaces will be have come through from InfraWorks so all I'm going to do is I, I want to drive the point home that we use InfraWorks as the aggregator of data here so I've got my Revit model I've got my parking my parking stripes um, I've even got my uh, hot dog stand here that I brought in just some people milling around um, these are all static people so far so they don't move yet but we will get to that and I've got some cars trees things of that nature so anything that I want to convey a message or convey the message that my VR will be representing I can bring it in here to InfraWorks and populate as much of it as possible to bring it into 3ds Max so I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my FBX file that I exported from Civil 3D all right so I'll go ahead and drag over my Windows Explorer and show you it's right here Civil 3D uh, FBX out and here's the FBX file so I'll just drag and drop that in all right and all I need to do is set the coordinate system and the type so this is going to come in as city furniture and I'm going to set the coordinate system to Mo 83 CF which is the coordinate system that my Civil 3D drawing was in I'll hit close and refresh and you'll be able to see a little stub of pipe right here all right in InfraWorks all right that's a good start but where is the pipe and the structures all right so if I zoom on in I can see right here that there is a uh, the top of one of the structures uh, that's the man entrance so I can see here there's there's one of those um, I've got another one here and here now if I go to my engineering view I can see those pipes and structures underneath the surface all right and I will say yes this structure is out in the parking lot but I did that by design because we could go back and move this and then update things later on so as of now I have everything that I want to push to 3ds max all right so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back here and I'll go back to my conceptual view close my data sources box and I'm gonna export out a 3d model all right so we did this before in part one these steps that I show in the first part that that's gonna be the same steps that we used last time but I'm gonna do it again uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select a polygon for my area all right and I'll go ahead and tell it that my coordinate system is mo 83 CF now the things that I told you to look for before if you go down here to your origin and set it to user defined we need to backspace out these decimal places all right after that we'll go ahead and tell it that we want it to export multiple files all right I want to file for my ground my building my city furniture pipelines trees all of that information all right so I'm gonna hit set location and we're gonna start adding to our folder system a little bit more all right I'll scroll on down to projects uh, my video for YouTube and I'll go ahead and create a new folder and I'll call this InfraWorks FBX out and I'll select that folder all right 
The last two options here, we can leave these two check default, and we're good to go. And we simply hit export. Now, it does take just a little bit of time here to export this out. All right, so the more that your model, the more that you have in your model, the, the longer it is going to take to export out this FBX file. Now, when I say it takes a while, you know, you're talking about five minutes. Okay, so it's not a monumental amount of time. But again, I want you to understand that if you do, if you do have a lot of information in this model, it will take just a little bit of time to export that out. All right, once it's done exporting, this is what you'll have. You'll have individual FBX files that come in that you can drop into 3ds max and we can start to populate our model in 3ds max so this is where i'm going to stop for part one in part two we will be working with how to get the information from the fbx files here that we've exported into 3ds max and then go ahead and and push all of this information to 3ds max interactive i thank you for watching today and have a great day